Welcome to lecture 6. So far we have created our scene, a camera, a renderer, added a few objects like our cube that's rotating and a sphere which we have textured with our earth map. But our code is a little bit messy, so in this lecture we are going to clean it up. In other words, we will refactor our script and introduce an init function. In this function, everything that has to do with the scene, the objects, the lights, the camera, the renderer, etc. will be defined. Finally, we will also add an onWindow resize function. Let's first take a look at the structure we want to achieve in our script. First, we import things like the VGS library and our modules, the GLTF loader and the orbit controller. Then we will declare our variables that are scoped to the script but need to be accessible for different functions. Then there are some variables that hold important data, for example the color of our different lights. Now it's time for our functions. First the init function in which we define our scene and everything inside it, then the animate function to enable animation and then we call those two functions to start things up. Finally we define our onWindow resize function. In the init function there's an event listener that listens to the resize event. This will trigger the onWindow resize function. So here we see the let variables that are declared in the top of our script. The declaration of these variables we have to take out of our init function because they have to be available for different functions. For example the scene has to be available not only for the init function but also for the animate function. Now this list will change over the next lectures but the concept stays the same. Here we see two variables that contain important data. The first one is an object, light colors, that contains the colors of all our lights. This will make our application easier to understand and to make changes later on. The other variable is a string that contains the path to our textures. We already used this when we created a string literal for our earth map. In the init function we see our code pretty much as it was before, but we no longer declare our variables, we just define them. And that, of course, is why we had to declare them as let variables. I have removed the cube object altogether from our scene, but the earth object remains because it's a nice example of how to texture an object. Also, you notice that I have removed all semicolons. Since ES6 they are no longer mandatory and I think it makes cleaner script when not using them. Defining the lights, you see we no longer use a direct definition of the colors, but we use our light colors object instead. We end the init function with an event listener. It listens to the resize event and triggers the onWindow resize function. In the resize function, the camera aspect ratio is set as before, but of course now with the new values for offset width and offset height. Also, the renderer is given a new canvas by adjusting the property set size with the new offset width and offset height. After adjusting any of the properties of the camera, the update projection matrix method must be called. And that finishes up our little refactoring. See you in the next lecture.